I never learnt much writing in school. Anyway, by the time I'd left, pretty much everything had gone digital. Any writing that I did need to do, I could do on my phone. WhatsApp messages, Facebook posts, comments on Instagram, you know? It didn't matter that I wasn't very good at spelling or that I couldn't use an apostrophe to save my life because my phone did it all for me. But then, when was it? About a year ago, a few things happened. I had to write a letter to my son's school. He's got autism and he wasn't getting on very well. So the teacher asked me to put everything down in a letter. Then my boss, I volunteer at one of those click sergeant shops. He asked me to send an email to all of the other volunteers about a fundraiser we were doing. And then I was selling my house and I wanted to sell loads of stuff. So I wanted to put one of those flyers or a leaflet together for a car boot sale I was having. Anyway, I realized that it didn't matter if I couldn't spell or I didn't know how to use punctuation because I had absolutely no idea how to write any of those things. And for the first time since I left, I really wish I'd paid more attention at school. So, I started an English course. I learned a whole bunch of stuff about spelling, punctuation, paragraphs, how to write a letter, blah, blah, blah. But the most important thing that I learned, and I was not expecting this, was that if you can put your thoughts down, clearly and correctly on paper, or anywhere else for that matter, people actually sit up and take notice. It gives you a voice. And yeah, I suppose a power. Sounds funny, doesn't it? I've done loads of things since my course. I wrote a letter to my local MP about funding cuts to special educational needs. I used formal language, of course. I helped my nan set up a Just Giving page, threw in some persuasive language too. I even wrote an article for a local newspaper about why I think Brexit's actually good for the country. Yeah, who can believe it? I've actually got plans to write a children's book next. I don't like much of what's out there for children with autism. And the kids and John, they're dead proud of me. And that makes me feel, well, totally made up. Thank you.